The boys of Yuksekova get ready for their fight. The older man can't resist checking their Molotov cocktails. This town is holding the funeral of Orhan Agdoan, a PKK fighter. The boys want to show that they too can take on the Turkish state. They try to burn down the Ghazi primary school. That's because it teaches in Turkish, not Kurdish. This Kurdish population wants to rule itself. There have been many deaths in this country, says Serkan Dara, and there may be more. That's what the Prime Minister's language signals. The crowd celebrates the PKK's leader, Abdullah Öcalan. He's imprisoned on an island near Istanbul. You get a real sense here of anger against the Turkish state. And it appears that the PKK can count on plenty of local support. And that will make it very difficult for the government and the army to defeat the movement by force alone. Among the mourners is Najiye Ike. Two of her three sons were killed fighting the Turkish military. On a quieter day, she takes her grandsons Emra and Birhat to visit their uncle's grave. We have always wanted peace, but maybe it's not possible anymore. We can't get along with the Turkish people. We don't understand each other. Sedat Töre tries to act as a bridge between Kurds and Turks. He's the mayor of nearby Şemdinli, a border town close to both Iran and Iraq. He represents a non-violent Kurdish party. Whenever the Prime Minister says that the Kurdish problem is finished, he sends another hundred young people to the PKK. Every time he says there is no Kurdish problem, he devastates the hope of young people and sends them to the PKK front. Here's where some of them end up. From a base in northern Iraq, the movement's acting leader tells a BBC team that the PKK is not ready to stop fighting. You mean lay down our arms without any conditions? No, I don't agree with that. There must be a plan that addresses all of our questions. Turkey, as a democratic country, should solve the Kurdish problem and then we will abandon our arms. But Turkey's Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan, here with party members in Ankara, is unlikely to agree to that. He offers the Kurds money, but not self-rule. To his supporters' cheers, his government promises to defeat the PKK. We are fighting against ter ter terrorist uh, groups, terrorist uh, actions, or, uh, from uh, in a very multidimensional approach. Security measures is one of them, but the rest uh, will be uh, will continue to be implemented in Turkey, democratic and economic development. But promises of development don't tempt the PKK rebels down from the mountains. The Turkish state may rule its Kurdish region, but its soldiers have to wear their bullets where everyone can see them. James Reynolds, BBC News, Eastern Turkey.